this short webinar um, it deals with coordinate geometry and how the Vedic Math Sutras, in a very simple way, apply to the basic aspects of coordinate geometry of straight line graphs. The uh, coordinate geometry, uh, uh, properly known as analytical geometry, did um, in the 1630s by uh, René Descartes and also Pierre de Fermat. Um, they they seem to have uh, discovered uh, coordinate geometry independently. And what it was, was a combination of algebra and, uh, and geometry. Um, because they, they both realized that um, a, a line or curve on a graph could be uh, represented by an equation and vice versa. That an equation could be represented by a uh, graph. But the story goes that uh, René Descartes used to like lying in bed in the morning and um, he one morning was looking at the ceiling and saw a fly and wondered about how to uh, relate the position and path of the fly of walking along the ceiling to um, some sort of mapping arrangement and decided that he could map the position and path in relation to the corner of the ceiling. I don't know whether that story is true or not. Uh, later on in his life, he worked uh, for the Queen of Sweden, and she liked to have maths lessons at five o'clock in the morning. And the uh, early morning and cold weather uh, caused him to catch pneumonia and he died uh, as a result at the age of 53. Fermat is one of the uh, of the of Europeans greatest ever mathematicians. So it was in the 1630s so that's that's about um, 400 years ago that uh, coordinate geometry started. Well examples here is a line through the origin and its equation is y equals 0 0.8x and the sutra here is proportionately because the there is a proportionate relationship between each x coordinate of a point on the graph and its y coordinate and this can be applied to uh, simple simple modeling such as uh, in a distance time graph we can uh, uh, transform the line up here. Um, the original line y equals 0.8x is, is translated upwards by three units. And so we then have the uh, equation y equals 0.8x plus 3, which is in the um, normal conventional y equals mx plus c format, where n is the gradient and uh, C is the y-intercept. How to draw a line from its equation. So this example, we have 2x minus 3y is minus 12. And to draw a straight line on a graph, essentially you just need two points. And the easiest two points to establish are the y-intercept and the x-intercept. The y-intercept is found by eliminating x from the equation by letting x equal 0. And so we have uh, minus 3y equals minus 12, in which case y is 4. And for the x-intercept, we eliminate y, the y term by letting y equal 0 and retain the x term, from which we get 2x is minus 12 and hence x is minus 6. In practice, however, it's best to have three points to, um, to plot the line, just in case a mistake is made. And the children I teach, I uh, instruct them to find three points which lie on the graph, because if they're not all collinear, then it's obvious that a mistake will have been made. Next, we deal with how to find a line segment. And here is an example. We have two points, 
uh, A at 2, 3, and B at 10, 7, and we need to find the coordinates of the midpoint. And this is done just by averaging the x coordinates and averaging the y coordinates. And the sutra involved here is Vyashti Samashti, specific and general. In the Vedic Maths book, this sutra, um, I seem to recollect, it only gets one mention, and it um, is to do with solving certain type of biquadratic equations, and um, he says take the average. And this sutra, why does it mean? Why does it mean uh, average or mean? It's to do with the fact that whenever you find the mean or average of a set of numbers, that mean is a single number which, in some way, represents the whole. And hence that is the sutra which lies behind the idea of an average. Um, next we will look at how to tell whether a point... Here we have examples... Here we have examples of parallel lines. And the left-hand side, in every case, is exactly the same. So the, the the gradient and the gradient of parallel lines is the same. So the the coefficients of two and three have a relationship with the or the, the ratio of two and three have a have a relationship with the uh, gradient. Again, the sutra involved here is specific and general. We are samashti. Now we look at how to find the equation given a point and given uh, a line. So we have the line in this example, 3x plus 5, y is 17. And we're looking for the equation of a line which passes through 2, 1. The left-hand side is exactly the same, 3x plus 5, y. And then all that's required to do is to take the values of x is 2 and y is 1, in, 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 substitute them into the left-hand side to evaluate the right-hand side. So you have 3 times 2 plus 5 times 1 is 11. 3x plus 5y is 11 is the is the uh, equation of the power. Uh, going back to the mx minus y equals mx1 minus y1 formula, here's an exam question. The line L1 passes through the point 9 minus 4 and has gradient 1 third. Find its equation in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are integers. So using the mx minus y form, we get a third x minus a y equals a third times 9 minus minus 4 is 7. And so on multiplying by 3 to clear this fraction, x minus 3y is 21, bring the 21 over, and we've got the answer. The conventional form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I've never figured out why this form is given, except that this y minus y1 um, is similar to the x minus x1. And the reason I haven't figured it out why this, this uh, form is used is because you inevitably have to do something like multiply out brackets. Answer. A similar problem is how to find the equation of a line perpendicular to a given line that passes through a given point. So I've used the same line here, 3x minus 5y is 17, and the same point, 2, 1. And we're looking for the equation of this perpendicular. This can be done in pretty much one step using the Weylich technique of transpose and adjust. So starting from the 3x plus 5y uh, side, the, the, the general side, what's required is to swap the 5 and the 3 round and then change the sign in between. That's the transpose and adjust. We land, then land up with 5x minus 3y equals something to be found. Take the values of x is 2 and y is 1, implant them into the left hand side and evaluate and we arrive at 3x minus 5y and that should say 5x minus 3y is 7. And finally, how to find the equation of a line that passes through two given points. Um, and this is actually described in the Vedic Mathematics book. 
Uh, first, we'll look at the first uh, conventional method, which uses the form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. First of all, you need to find the gradient m by subtracting the y coordinates, subtracting the x coordinates, 10 minus 4, 8 minus 3, and then the change in y over the change in x gives 6 over 5. Inserting that into the equation, choosing one of the points, like 3, 4, um, y1 is 4 and x1 is 3. Clearing the fraction by multiplying by 5 gives 5y minus 20 equals 6 into x minus 3. Multiplying out the brackets, collecting like terms, and we land up with 6y, 6x minus 5y is minus 2. The uh, second conventional method um, uses this formula, y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 equals x minus x1 over x2 minus x1. Quite difficult to remember, but it's, um, it is helped by the fact that these two sides, are, it's symmetrical, these two sides reflect one another. Entering the numbers in to the formula and then cross multiplying, multiplying out brackets and collecting terms um, it, uh, and getting the equation in the right shape uh, relies on uh, uh, lands up as, as 6x minus 5y is minus 2. The one um, is done in one line, uh, which is great. And the form of the equation is ax minus by equals c. The sutures involved here are transpose and adjust and the product of the means minus the product of the extremes. And I'll explain that in a, in a second. So what's required here is to find the values of A, B and C and put them into the, the general equation. For the value of A, the coefficient of x, we find the difference in the y coordinates. So that's 10 minus 4 is 6. Conversely, for the coefficient of y, namely b, we find the difference of the x-coordinates. 8 minus 3 is 5. And the product of the means minus the product of the extremes works like this. You set out the coordinates, 8, 10, 3, 4, in a row. And it's easier if the larger numbers are on the left. The product of the means means the... Uh, the product of the middle two numbers. 10 times 3 is 30. The product of the extremes is 8 times 4, the outer two numbers. 8 times 4 is 32. So we get 30 minus 32 is minus 2. And hence the equation is 6x minus 5y is minus, uh, is minus 2. And so um, that just gives you a little... A little introduction to the simple application of the Radic Math Sutras to coordinate geometry. What I'd like to look at next is, is how the sutras apply to the coordinate geometry of circles and then uh, further on to look at uh, other conic sections, parabolas, ellipses, hyperbole and so on. So I hope that's been uh, a useful introduction to uh, to that. Thank you.